Welcome back everyone and today we're going to be going through some of the most basic skills that are still going to beat defenders. Let's get straight in. Okay, so our first skill is the Cruyff turn and it's all about changing direction, explosive enough to leave players behind. So to say if we want to take the ball that direction, I'll be looking to use this right leg to go over the ball and we're going to drag it and then follow on. Since the skill is basic but has a lot of effectiveness, it's definitely worth using both feet. So a good way to practice with both feet is to touch out and go. It's important to acknowledge that the Cruyff turn isn't a chop because you still want to keep close protection of the ball. So it's more so a drag where we still have control and we're rolling it back into our stride. Now this skill is that simple and effective that you will even see goalkeepers use it to get out of trouble. And that's just a drag back, which is where we drag it back and then change direction. So we're gonna drag the ball, catch it right here, beneath the sole on the side of your foot to then roll it the other way. So if you're a goalkeeper, a defender, or anyone who's under pressure, it's definitely one of the best moves to get you out of danger. So if someone's running across this way, it's gone. Our next move is a croquetta, and you typically see this from players who like to keep the ball close to them, such as Messi. So all that is, is just dragging the ball from one side and then continuing in that direction swiftly to lead the defender. It's not a kick, kick, it's more so a drag and out. This pass in the middle has to be smooth enough to guide it to then go out and push forward. So a good drill to practice this move is to just go from side to side, because you never know, you may need to go both sides and just continuously find that rhythm, not just the passes. We want to guide it. As to keep up with the theme of the video, it's another very simple move, but very effective. And all that is, is a step over and then change direction. Now, we're only gonna go through the single step over to show you the explosiveness phase of getting out of danger. Most important part is to drop the shoulder and then make sure we can burst out in another direction. The last thing we wanna do is be static and just send the step over and then think where we're going. We're doing it in our stride to predetermine where we wanna go. So it's important that you don't think about the step over too much because the step over is literally there to set this part up and go. So if you do want to get more comfortable with your step overs, definitely practice with both feet. So it's just a matter of going round and look what I'm doing. I'm jumping from one foot to the other, staying light on my feet so I can go. Can't thank you guys enough for making it to the end of the video subscribe and make sure you're leaving a like on the video i'm trying to get as much content out there for you so please make sure you let me know in the comments what you want to see next thanks again